So Meta introduced its AI assistant last September, and now it's being added to the search boxes on Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp, and Messenger. It will soon appear in the main Facebook feed too. You can also chat with it through the messaging features of Meta's apps and even access it via a new website, meta.ai. Now, for Meta's assistant to really compete with ChatGPT, it needs to be as good, if not better. That's why the company is also unveiling Llama 3, a major update to their fundamental AI model. Llama 3 is said to perform better than other models in its class on important benchmarks, especially in tasks like coding. Now, Meta is releasing two smaller versions of Llama 3, both in its AI assistant and for other developers, while a larger, more complex version will be available soon. The goal, as Meta's CEO Mark Zuckerberg says, is for Meta AI to become the most intelligent AI assistant that people can freely use around the world. And with Llama 3, they believe they've achieved this. This new AI assistant now uniquely integrates real-time search results from Bing and Google, deciding which search engine to use based on the query. It also now has enhanced image generation capabilities that include animations and high-resolution images that appear as you type. A new feature suggests possible questions to help users understand what a general-purpose chatbot can do. Until now, Meta AI has only been available in the US, but it's now rolling out in English to many other countries like Australia, Canada, and several in Africa and Asia. This marks a step towards Zuckerberg's vision of a global AI assistant. Meta has also introduced two new Llama 3 models for developers, one with 8 billion parameters and another with 70 billion, both available on major cloud platforms. The largest version of Llama 2 had 70 billion parameters, but the upcoming version of Llama 3 will have more than 400 billion. It is trained on over 15 trillion tokens, a huge increase from the 2 trillion tokens used in Llama 2. Zuckerberg also discussed how Llama 3 is designed to make fewer mistakes, such as refusing harmless requests. For example, older models might have misunderstood requests to create a killer margarita or give advice on breaking up with someone. While Meta is still deciding whether to make the 400 billion parameter version of Llama 3 open source, Zuckerberg seems confident about its safety and the lack of risks associated with such advanced technology. As we look to the future, Zuckerberg hints at more updates and the potential for Llama 4 and 5, suggesting that Meta isn't just trying to compete with other open source models, but aims to be the leading AI globally. I think that Meta is re-establishing its position with Llama 3, though OpenAI's rumored upcoming GPT-5 might change the landscape again. Meta, however, is already planning for the next stages with Llama 4 and 5, viewing the development of these models as a long-term endeavor. All right, now the company called Nothing announced a huge AI update to its earbuds. The product names are a bit complex. The Nothing Ear is the latest version of the Nothing Ear 2, and the Nothing Ear A is kind of the next step after the Nothing Ear Stick. One of the big stories today is that Nothing's new earbuds now work with ChatGPT. While other tech companies are focusing on AI and smartphones, Nothing has gone ahead and integrated this AI technology directly into their earbuds. If you have the ChatGPT app on your Nothing phone, you can just pinch the earbud stem to ask ChatGPT questions, similar to how you might use Siri, Google Assistant, or Alexa with other devices. Nothing is also enhancing the user experience on their phones. They're adding new ways to use ChatGPT right into their operating system, Nothing OS. This includes sharing screenshots and adding new widgets styled by Nothing. These features will only be available with the new earbuds. Pre-orders for both models of earbuds started yesterday. The new Nothing earbuds have better sound than before thanks to a new driver system. This has also made room for a bigger battery, which lasts up to 25% longer than the previous model. The earbuds now have a smart, active noise canceling feature that adjusts to the noise around you and checks how well the earbuds fit in your ear. The Nothing Ear A also has improved noise canceling. But nothing is really highlighting the new bright yellow color, which is a change from the usual black and white colors of their products. Both the Ear and Ear A earbuds are priced reasonably at $149 and $99 respectively, and they will start shipping on April 22nd. All right, now Poe is introducing a cool new feature called Multibot Chat, which lets you talk to several AI models at once in a single conversation. This could actually be really useful because different models are good at different things. Some are made for specific tasks while others know a lot about certain topics. With this new feature on Poe, you can get answers from different bots with just one click or choose a specific bot by tagging it in your chat. For instance, say you want to learn more about a topic. 
You could start by asking Claude three opus for information and then compare its response to what GPT-4 or Mr. Large have to say, all with just one click. If you need a deeper analysis, you could bring in Gemini 1.5 Pro, which can look at things in a really detailed way because of its big context window. You could also tag the web search bot to bring in the latest info on the topic, and finally add a specialized writing bot to help put everything together in writing. Or, if you're making an image, you could ask DALI 3 to create something and see how it stacks up against other image bots like SDXL or Playground V2.5 on Poe. These days, new AI models are popping up all the time. Poe wants to make sure you can use the new ones easily with the ones you've already got. It's becoming super important to be able to mix and match different AI models because there's a whole bunch out there. As the number of different AI providers grows, so does the cost of subscribing to each one. And for those of you who don't know, Poe lets you chat with many AIs in one place for just $20 a month. Plus, now you can even talk to a few at the same time to find your favorite. Okay, now Logitech has just announced a new tool called the Logi AI Prompt Builder, which integrates ChatGPT into their Logi Options Plus app. This tool makes it easier for users to use ChatGPT's AI features as part of their daily tasks. Along with this new software, Logitech is also launching a new mouse called the Signature AI Edition mouse, which features a special button for AI prompts. If you're using Logitech's Logi Options Plus app through your keyboard or mouse, you can access this new AI prompt builder right from the app's menu. You can even set a specific keyboard key to activate it. The AI prompt builder automatically takes any text you highlight and offers ready to use prompts, but you can also create your own prompts and add extra text. Plus, you can personalize how the AI responds. The Signature AI Edition mouse looks a lot like the existing Signature M650 mouse, but includes an AI button just below the scroll wheel. This new mouse is being launched on Logitech's website this month and will be sold for $49.99, which is just a bit more expensive than the M650. It's part of several new Logitech products that come with AI enhancements like the MX Brio webcam and the Zone 2 wireless headset. Delphine Dunn, who manages Logitech's personal workspace, made a statement saying that Logitech plays a vital role in how people interact with digital technologies through AI. She noted that the new Logi AI Prompt Builder makes it easier for anyone with a compatible Logitech mouse or keyboard to tap into the vast possibilities offered by AI. She emphasized that this new tool is just one example of how Logitech is taking advantage of the opportunities AI provides. All right, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more updates. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next one.